You know, perhaps I give Donald Trump too much credit for ripping apart the Republican party. Because after all, it's not just Donald Trump. There's plenty of folks out there who are helping to destroy the Republican party. And according to new reports, nobody is doing a better job of it than the MyPillow CEO, Mike Lindell himself. And believe it or not, all of this is kind of playing itself out in the great state of Idaho right now. Now, for our regular viewers, you understand probably, or maybe you have, you know, vague memories of us talking about Mike Lindell's involvement in Idaho. But in case you don't remember, or you've never heard it, let me refresh your memories. Many, many months ago, in fact, it was last summer, we talked about the fact that Mike Lindell went to Idaho, had all this evidence and said, look, there's so much voter fraud in your state. You gotta do this. You gotta investigate it. That was a pretty crappy Mike Lindell impression, but I'll let it slide because it was from me. <laughs> so Idaho Republicans said, sure thing, buddy, we're going to go based on your reports and we're going to investigate all this. Thank you so much for bringing this to us. So of course the Idaho Republicans go out there, spend thousands and thousands of dollars auditing, recounting, looking at the voting machines, what have you doing everything to make sure it was all on the level. And at the end of the day, they came back and said, dude, Mike, you lied. We found all of your claims to be quote, without merit. So they got pissed and they said, Hey, guess what, buddy? We spent thousands of dollars to do this. Cause you told us if we did it, we'd find fraud. We could, you know, prove that Trump won our state by an even bigger margin, which he already won by 30%, by the way, like Idaho wasn't going to flip from Biden to Trump. Trump won it by 30% of the vote. Like what a stupid place to go and do this. So the Idaho officials, Republicans, all of them said, Mike, give us our money back. Like we had to pay this money to do it based on what you said. We want you to pay us back. Well, fast forward to now, right? We're like nine months removed from this. And apparently Mike Lindell is currently ripping apart the GOP in the state of Idaho. Here's how it's happening. His supporters, the Lindell supporters still in Ohio, uh, Idaho, excuse me, actually think that the Republicans who conducted this little audit or whatever you want to call it, they believe now that they're in on the conspiracy because they didn't find what Mike Lindell swears was there. So you got a good number of Republicans over here that think, aha, so you're in on the conspiracy. You're just as bad as the damn Democrats. And then you have the normal Republicans who are actually sending messages to the state GOP saying, thank you for proving Mike Lindell wrong for allowing us to move forward and showing that we don't have to believe in crazy conspiracy theories. And this of course is leading to primary challengers for some of the Republicans who are happy about it by people who are not happy about it. So the Republican party of course is tearing itself apart worried now that hell we might even lose in our deep red state because we can't get along because Mike Lindell is tearing us apart. Now, the reason I bring this up is because this isn't just Idaho. This is what Lindell is doing all over the country by not only sowing doubt in our election process, which of course keeps Republicans away from the polls. We've seen it in Georgia. But by keeping this myth alive, he is not allowing the Republican party to move forward. Everywhere that has looked at his claims has proven that he is not being honest, that he is lying and that his evidence is total BS. The court cases that looked at his so-called evidence have said, this is nothing. Please get out of our courtrooms. He has nothing because there is nothing, but he continues to say it, which of course in turn drives Republicans apart. Most Republicans want to move on from the 2020 election. They don't want to talk about it anymore. But unfortunately, most Republicans also believe the 2020 election was stolen. So they literally are holding two contradicting beliefs at the same time, which, Hey, that's impressive. Didn't know Republicans could do two things at once, but here we are. They say, yes, it was stolen. And two, let's stop talking about it being stolen. It, it, it blows my mind because it's so incredibly stupid, but it is also tearing Republicans apart. The smart ones, the ones who say that, no, it wasn't stolen. You're being an idiot want to move on. 
So do some of the people who say it was stolen. They don't want to talk about it anymore because they understand it makes them sound like a bunch of sore losers. But more importantly, they understand how continuing to shred any faith that remains in our electoral process is probably going to keep away more prob- uh, Republicans from the polls in November than it is Democrats. And that could be disastrous when it's time for the midterms. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.